Thanks, John. Thanks so much. Can people hear me? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, ah, okay, so you can see everything. <coughs> Good. Uh, first, um, to <coughs> I'd like to say that I'm not a speaker. I'm a practitioner. My name is uh, Omicido, and as you probably know from my online profiles, I love talking about SEO and digital marketing. Today, I'm here to talk about rank brain. I hope very quickly it becomes very obvious that I'm not actually talking about a rank brain, but the way you have to adjust to the new reality in SEO called machine learning. So, let's start with the obvious. Last year, Google, or at least somebody from Google, declared that rank brain is the third most important ranking factor. Now, if you look at uh, Brighton SEO, Moscom, Popcom, name it, whatever, you will notice right away that nobody, absolutely nobody, is talking about rank brain. Why? Well, when it was released uh, a few years ago, some uh, clever SEOs, uh, influencers, went out there and declared, you cannot optimize for rank brain so don't bother. What a crap advice. So according to the SEO digital community, third place is not important. According to the SEO community, oops, all those people should be stripped off from their Olympic bronze medals because they came third. Third position is not important. Willingly or not, Google gave us the three most important ranking factors. But as SEOs, the digital marketers, and, and bear in mind that there are more than 200 ranking factors, so, but as SEOs, the smartest uh, you know, part of our society, we've decided that, that even given the top three ranking factors, we're still gonna ignore one of them because it's very difficult to optimize for. Again, why is the media <laughs> uh, talking about the third child of uh, Kate Middleton and Prince William? He's third in line. He is not important, according to the digital marketing community. Uh, thinking now, probably he's even fifth in line, so he's definitely not important. Jokes aside, let's uh, remind ourselves what rank brain is. Rank brain is a self-learning algorithm that doesn't need any human interference. By noticing relationships, it can actually determine whether different stories are on the same topic. If you don't know much about those two, grab me after the break and I'll explain it to you. To add to this, Every time you type a query, Rank Brain will try and, and guess what you're looking for, and then it has to determine whether the output was good or bad. If the output is good, next time Rank Brain sees a similar query from a similar searcher. And I'll repeat this one. A similar query from a similar searcher, 
it will provide the same answer. Straight away, there is a question. Is this the first time Google is using uh, uh, machine learning to determine, to understand relevance? Well, definitely no. The Google AdWords quality score uh, never needed external signals like, link, uh, like links, backlinks, to rank paid search ads for relevance. Now, I know straight away some of you are smiling, and I just want to say that I'm not saying that links will not be important in the future. All I'm saying is, is, is that one day, Google may decide that it had enough of uh, overly smart, overly confident SEOs that are constantly trying to game the system, and Google may decide that links will not be taken into consideration anymore. So if this one happens, what are we left with? Well, you guessed this right away. Relevance. Now, um, to, to make it clear, instead of calling it um, relevance score, Google Ad uh, AdWords relevance score, let's just uh, call it a relevance score in organic search. Because like every system in the world needs um, a way to compare whether one thing is better than another. And let's agree on something, me and you. Wherever, wherever Google displays in the SERPs, people will not click if it's not relevant to their query. Now, add to this a machine learning algorithm like RankBrain, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you've got my first tip of the day. When it comes to Google AdWords, Twitter adjusted quality beats, YouTube advertising, Facebook advertising, which, by the way, are all this, uh, largely the same uh, quality slash uh, relevance ideas, to be successful, it all comes down to one very simple thing, click-through rate. So, the better your click-through rate is, the better your relevance score will be, and the better your chances are of occupying a certain position in the SERPs. So, probably the question now comes, but Omi, what is a good uh, click-through rate? There are so many factors involved, like, um, videos, advertising, sliders, uh, just name it. Well, as a basic example, let's look at this research by Advanced Web uh, Ranking on historical click-through rates. It is quite obvious, can I point at this, Joe? No, okay. It is quite uh, obvious that if you're in position one, for a certain query, and your CTR is roughly below, I would say, 27%, Rank Brain will push you down and replace you with a page that has got a better than expected click through rate. It is that simple. Probably the question now is, but Omi, uh, in organic search, in SEO, we've got not, we don't have anything like relevant score. Well, I probably don't need to tell you this one, but if you just go to your search console and you download all the data from, sorry, search analytics, then use something like, uh, uh, so, and then you just, uh, plot, click-through rate, verse position, and then plot an exponential trend line, what you've got is queries that are below your 
average click-through rate and are in danger of uh, being treated badly by a rank brain in the future. On the other side, you've got queries that are on top of your average click-through rate, and they may, get a, they may actually get a boost in the future from a rank brain. The question now is, how do we improve the CTR of everything be, be, uh, below the red line? Well, you've guessed this right away. Relevance. All you have to do is try and beat the expected click-through rate for a given position, or rank brain may replace you in the future. How do we improve the CTR, the click-through rate? You have to write, basically, it all comes down to, you have to write headlines that force people to click. On the other side, is um, bettering your click-through rate enough of optimization for rank brain? Obviously, Google is a little bit more sophisticated than that. When the searcher click on your headlines, then there is a second checkpoint in place. You could call it bounce rate, you can call it uh, dwell time, but by the way, I'm not talking about the, the data that you see in Google Analytics. I'm talking about the data that Google is seeing through Chrome and just name it. I want to make something very clear. I see a lot of SEOs out there, digital marketers basically, who talk about good, in-depth, exceptional content. But all those three words are a bit, uh, how to say, deceiving, deceptive, you know. Uh, what, I, what I see in the SERPs happening basically is that I see a lot of digital marketers out there producing tons of good content that literally never converts into rankings or money. So write something that people care about. And I really want to shift your mind towards writing relevant rather than just good content. Uh, grab me again after the talk and I may even come up with some examples. So. I hope you're still with me because I've already said too many things that uh, you know, people are arguing about uh, online. So the question is, am I a genius? And is everything that I'm talking about literally new? No, not really, to both of them. <laughs> In year 2000, and, let me, yeah, 2015, Google, filed a patent called Modifying Search Result Rankings Based on Implicit User Feedback. If you make the effort to go through this uh, patent, it's a long document, by the way, you probably notice this paragraph saying, training a model using the obtained information, sorry, I have to read this one, Wherein the model is trained to predict a click-through rate based, based on input comprising the one or more, blah, blah, blah. Go through the whole document, please. It is quite obvious that you simply can't ignore this new and, by the way, quite exciting, interesting algorithm. In the end, I want to give you some um, takeaways, but I really, really want you to try and understand and remember the first point. I really want you to understand the ranking factors, the important ranking factors 
for your industry, or for that matter, for your set of keywords. Basically, how to say this? People are the problem and the solution. This uh, thing called a rank brain is actually learning from your audience. So listening, listening, reading online gurus talking about links are important, links are not important, keywords are important, keywords are not important. Those things may be uh, true or false, literally, for your industry. You have to clear your mind, literally clear your mind, forget everything you know about SEO, and go and study the serves for your industry. I said yo many times. <laughs> you really have to understand what rank brain thinks is important when it's ranking your pages. Or you may be in trouble in the future. Or for that matter, if you've been wondering why in the last, well, two, three years, I've been constantly talking about understand and write for your industry, for your audience, now you know the answer. Guys, I hope I, I managed to ignite a little bit of desire in you to learn about this new and exciting algorithm. But for now, thank you very much for coming here today and enjoy the rest of this wonderful conference. Thank you.